check one, two. Check, check, check. Okay, well, I decided I better do one more test. <clears throat> well, I got in there, I remembered, you know, my head's always washed out. <clears throat> it really looks funky because it still looks like super bright on the camera, but over here, OBS, I changed it. You can't do anything on the camera with the USB, only with the recording settings. <clears throat> so when you're doing USB, uh, yeah, I, ca I can fix it up a little bit in US in uh, OBS. But yeah, that's not so bad. I want to go too dark. I actually ended up well, opacity. I tried the contrast, it just started getting, you know, you could see pixels. Sometimes if you get too much contrast, it'll look too bright. <clears throat> and I know that the, if you go down in the brightness any, anymore, I don't remember now if it was down any, it might have been on, you know, zero. But anyway, this back in here, it, I now let's get on the S&P 58, check one, two. It is hotter than the Wi-Fi mic. Let's see. Yeah, my forehead check, and face check. is not so bad. <clears throat> I had already messed with it before. And I don't I know. I, I really hate because. really hate to gain that Wi-Fi mic anymore. I'm afraid it will start getting distorted. <clears throat> or I have the noise gate set real nice on it, or I did, but I did gain it 5 dB already. Let's see if there's any background noise. Now let's get on the S and fifty eight. Check one, two. It is hotter than the Wi Fi mic. Let's see. Check, check. I don't know. I, I really hate really hate to gain that Wi Fi mic anymore. I'm afraid it will start getting distorted. <coughs> or I have the noise gate set real nice on it. Or I did, but I did gain it 5 dB already. Let's see if there's any background noise. Let's... Yep, there's a lot of background noise. I wasn't saying a word, and it's just going crazy. <clears throat> um, let's see what it's set on. I can filters. I can work on the uh, EQ. I mean, the. see, what do I have? Check one, two. Check one, two. I think it's way uh, delayed. The, the stream is delayed by a lot again. Yeah, so uh, maybe I should disable it. I, you know, I usually don't check one, two. Check one, two. See the the Wi-Fi latency, the delay, it changes. It gets better and worse, better and worse all the time. And so when you try to set <coughs> something, I've tried it. There was another way to. How did you do that? I think you just go into the. Maybe they don't have it that way anymore. But anyway, I tried and tried to set uh, playing with the. Uh, I was trying to do video delay, and that's what that does say. Video delay, async. And that is a filter you can put in there, an audio filter. <clears throat> but it causes, well, I, it may be, it's not the opposite, because it did seem Yay. to improve it at first. Let's stop talking. Check one, two, check, right check. Away. Yeah, it never quietens down. Noise gate's not working anymore because I uh, I raised the gain fit to 15 dB. It's a lot of gain, uh, but the the phones just don't send out near as hot a signal as everything else. That was one of the things I was working on all this time is trying to make them all be about the same. <clears throat> Let's see if I turn on the S58. Check one, two, check, check. Check one, two, check, check. I'm going to have to put on my headphones and listen to that. I do not know what I'm getting. Or I'll just turn on the, I don't know. Let, let's just try to turn on the monitor. I guess you can play with the, some things that you'll, you'll, you'll freeze up the uh, program or the, uh, 
Usually it just freezes up the camera that you're working on, but this is the Wi-Fi. It's not a, USBs will freeze up if you touch the settings while they're on. Sometimes if you just open up the window just to look at them. <coughs> Let's see, the noise gate is on. Uh, okay, yeah, it's uh, it always throws me in circles because I always think of zero dB as a hundred dB volume because that's what it's like. That's how it works. Why in the world? I mean, I, uh, I've, well, I haven't ever owned a decibel meter, but I've used them and learned the principles, you know, used them a little bit. I've watched other people use them. But I always, in my head, zero dB is, uh, is 100 dB, but it's absolutely the opposite in recording software as to, you know, using the decibel meter. Zero dB is uh, really the optimal volume level uh, but when it's recording, you can't go to zero dB. You will distort like crazy, especially in digital. <clears throat> uh, I can't read those numbers, but I looked at it a while ago. I looked at the, when I looked at the uh, noise gate, and I was like, "Wait a minute, did I set that up wrong?" But no, um, negative fifty-five. Okay, so it closes at negative fifty-five, opens at negative fifty. So negative fifty-five is quieter by 5 dB than negative 50. So, uh, actually that shouldn't even be gaining that signal, really, it shouldn't change. It does, but in theory you would think, okay, well it's still cut. There's already some delay on the Wi-Fi mic, and um, it was good to sit there and watch it though. Uh, it looks to me like it, it it's, uh, It's not, well, yeah, okay, so if I gained it, then it's just, it's just louder, right? It doesn't look louder, though. So I'm thinking, okay, so I gained it so it's louder than it was before, so now uh, uh, it's, it still fights the, the noise gate when you, when you gain them. <clears throat> I, don't, I can't sit there and explain it to myself in my head right now. And I don't really need to change the attack time or threshold or anything. I don't even know. The defaults are pretty good in these programs these days, uh, these audio video programs. So usually, it, unless they just don't work, I'll leave the defaults, except for where you're threat. Now this, you really do have to set this to your situation. The, the threshold, the close and open threshold. Compressor is, is still there, and that was the defaults. Uh, I wasn't quite sure if I had changed that. I don't think if you make changes and then like you delete it out of there because I didn't have it in there at all. What I did today is I just muted them. Uh, I just turned them off. I just click on the little, looks like an eye to me. I don't know what it is. It's so tiny to me on my screen. But uh, <clears throat> um, if I'm not going to want to use them, then I'll probably delete them so that they don't get accidentally turned on and I don't know what the heck's going on with my sound. I've, got, I put a, I've copied this one, this compressor. Uh, you can right click and copy. And then I went and pasted it into the the uh, mic ox too, but that was I just turned them off earlier because they were just over compressing, you know. It probably would work better now that I got my gain structure figured back out, but uh, I'm not gonna mess with them. It sounds great the way it is. I, th I I think right now today I'll leave them in there. Of course, that's one how I'll probably forget them, but uh, I don't want to do I don't want to take you know actually make any changes while I'm like. You know, deleting and adding things while I'm recording. I'm afraid it'll break the recording. Uh, so anyway, you also have video filters. Uh, all those. Uh, the one that I used. Well, I've used all the color filter correction is what I used in the in the uh, the profile for the uh, ESP camera, the Comrie 4K. But you're not getting 4K. Well, it's not a real 4K camera. They just bump it up a software, but you don't even get anywhere near 4K out of the USB. The USB couldn't, you know, 2.0 couldn't handle that. It, it's doing uh, 1280 or something about whatever. <clears throat> uh, so anyway, it's really useful though all these things you can do in here uh, with OBS. So check. Oh, is it on? No. Let's go back to it a minute so I can get my head around what I'm gonna need to do. USB camera, the Comrie 4K, but you're not getting 4K. Well, it's not a real 4K camera. They just bump it up a software, but you don't even get anywhere near 4K. Okay, yeah, now, because I could be breaking it trying to fix it. <clears throat> now I'm going to go back and do, I forgot to test. I tested the other mic back, backs back and forth, back and forth. 
Yeah, I see how much it may be too dark looking. The changes I made on the camera. Now I just looked up there and go, whoa, that's dark and dingy looking, you know. Anyway, I'm going to get uh, get on the uh, Bluetooth mic. Check one, two. Check, hello, check. Yeah, that's probably about right, right there. So if I can get to where I can do it without having to get down on the magnifying glass to see where it's at, then I'll be all right. I think it just needs to be on this board about a mark less than two o'clock, and the and the S and fifty eight needs to be at two o'clock. Cause you know when you try to just do watching the meters, it it will fool you every time. Uh, and like I said, I don't I, uh, with the echo that you get when you try to listen to it uh, through the speakers, can't turn it up loud enough to hear it really well because it, you know the speaker is causing a feed and it'll cause a feedback loop. You know, going through the mic, whatever mic you're using, because you're just only foot and a half. I mean, two foot. Oh, it's really right at two feet. A little more than two feet. Uh, <clears throat> so, and with the headphones, you can kind of mitigate that a little bit, but uh, they didn't sound right uh, when I was listening to them a while ago over that over the same sound card that I'm using for recording with. And I ended up realizing, oh, well, if I'm going to monitor my live stream, I need to have audio. Uh, so I plugged them into the Lenovo so I could hear, check. That's what I want to be able to do is check my audio. And um, they weren't really helping me. And and it's the delay. The delay, it just overwhelms me when I'm in headphones, you know, that. And I just can't think. I don't know what it's heard. So, <clears throat> um, let's get back to the SM58. Get some. Check one, two. Check one, two. Probably, probably clacked a little too loud. I want it. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, it was on it, but I can't. Whenever, if I just try to do it like that without looking, then I'll, I'll end up getting it wrong right when I'm mean to doing a recording. That's where I want it. <clears throat> Uh, it worked good, sounded good. I don't clack my tongue during a, a, a session anyway, so um, a session. Unless I'm doing tests like this, I don't clack. Typically, just clack my tongue. All right. I just do that as a test. So uh, let's get out of here, and hopefully I'll be ready. If not, well, I may have to work on that uh, uh, noise gate for, for the audio cam 3, and uh, might have to might really need to gain it some more to get it to uh, be the same volume as these other mics.